Section 3 Application and Host Protection Strategies Application Security Best Practices In this lesson, you will learn about the best practices for securing server applications installed on Windows Server 2019 by applying update and security patches in a timely fashion, installing only signed applications, and you'll also learn about containers and how they can be used to deploy secure applications to Windows Server 2019. Just as with the Windows operating system, application updates often address vulnerabilities that have been discovered in the application code. These are typically distributed as security updates. Applying security updates in a timely manner is critical to ensuring that any vulnerability addressed by the application vendor in the update is resolved. Of course, it is important to test these updates and patches on non-production systems prior to deploying them in production. Testing of updates and patches can identify any issues that may arise as a result of applying them and should any issues arise that a resolution is found prior to applying the update to a production server. This way, the update process has a greater chance of success. The testing phase should occur immediately after the update becomes available so that the update can be applied to production as soon as possible. Updates to Microsoft products can be applied using the Windows Server Update Service server role or using System Center Configuration Manager. Some third-party applications can be updated using System Center Configuration Manager current branch 1806 or later. Application updates packaged as executables will either need to be unpacked and repackaged as an MSI package or distributed using the vendor's instructions. Another best practice is to ensure that any third-party application is signed. Signing an application embeds a certificate in the application installation code. This certificate identifies the publisher of the application and ensures that the application code hasn't been altered since the application was signed. The certificate checking process checks that the issue of the certificate is trusted by the Windows server, ensures that the certificate is still valid, and then checks the certificate hash value. The hash value is used to ensure that the application hasn't been altered since certificate was applied to the application. Another common practice that is growing in popularity among application developers is containers. Containers are a virtual environment that provide an isolated environment for applications. Containers share the kernel of the host operating system, but provide user space isolation. Applications in a container can run side by side with other applications and the host services without affecting each other or those services. Container isolation improves security and reliability of the applications running within the container. A container appears to the application as a complete operating system providing file system support. Containers run on a host. The host is the physical or virtual computer that runs the Windows container feature. Windows Server 2016 and 2019 support the containers feature. A host can run one or more containers. The container operating system is the first layer of a container providing the operating system environment. A container image is where changes made to the container by an application installation are stored. Since the container operating system cannot be modified, any necessary changes are made to the container image and become the next layer of the container. 
The sandbox is an additional layer where changes made to the container's operating system are stored, like file system or registry changes. The container repository is where container images are stored, allowing for the reuse of container images as needed. Windows Server 2016 and 2019 provide full support for containers through the use of Docker. Docker is open source software that is used to create, manage, and deploy containers. And it's a component of the Windows Server operating system, beginning with Windows Server 2016. Using the built-in tools, DevOps personnel can deploy and manage Windows or Hyper-V virtual machine containers created by their development team. In this lesson, you learned about a few of the best practices for securing applications, beginning with the timely deployment of updates and security patches. You learned that Windows updates can be deployed with Windows Server Update Service or System Center Configuration Manager, and that many third-party updates can be deployed with System Center Configuration Manager 1806 and later. You also learned that deploying applications in containers provides better isolation and security for applications, and that containers can be created, deployed, and managed using the built-in Docker feature.